Hey, welcome back to the MWOD. Uh, we have a very, very, very special MWOD for you tonight. Uh, we're going to start by showing you what the grace of God looks like. This is a, a, uh, a freezer all the way down full of grass-fed Morris uh, beef. And then if you pan over immediately, oh, hey, there's some kava. It's not champagne, but it's in there, and it's Champagne Friday. Happy Champagne Friday. And uh, I'm telling you, this, this, some heavy deadlifts, some thrusters, some met metabolic conditioning, and uh, you've got yourself a, a, a winner. We're here today uh, at a very special evening. Uh, it's the rehearsal run-through for one of my good friends who's, uh, who's getting married tomorrow. And you may know her, Coach D from CrossFit Santa Cruz. Uh, and a little-known fact about Coach D is that when Juliet and I first ever went from the web to an actual CrossFit place, Coach Danielle, Coach D was my CrossFit coach. She ran us through the most heinous workout ever. She was like 22 years old. And uh, hey, look, there is the, uh, the groom himself and uh, Mr. CrossFit. And um, we are interloping tonight. We've got quick put the freezer, freezer, put the freezer lid down. So tonight um, we're going to do a special MWOD called Bridal MWOD. And uh, we're going to talk about the thing I hate most in brides, which is not their lunacy, because um, that's impossible. But we're going to talk about bride shoulder, okay? So here's what I want to talk about. One of the things that's not okay is when we take great looking athletes and all of a sudden we put them in a bridal gown and they do this bride shoulder. And uh, the bride shoulder comes forward and you're like, ha ha ha, and you think you're popping the shoulder. It's no good. What I want to do is show how awesomely strong and badass my bride's uh, back is. And so this is actually a cue about good posture. When thumbs are pointed forward, I should be able to see the, the trap and kind of rhomboid mass between the shoulder blades. That means that I can see the musculature, the lean, toned, long, thin, ripped musculature of the bride, not the massive bulk, but the scap is flat, and I can see that. And that's actually how I know I'm in a good position. So anytime tomorrow, if I see Danielle in a terrible bridal shoulder, ha, 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 thing, I'm just going to slap her wrist. Bam! Take that. Good. She's back up. And uh, that fits with our whole piece about creating a stable rib cage and then having that scapula glide effectively up and down on the rib cage. So tonight we've got two special treats. One is how can we actually encourage this movement of this, of this scap on the thoracic spine to help encourage that position. So here's how it works. We come over here to the doorway, any doorway. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive the arm up. And this is not a typical pec stretch in the doorway. That's fine. That's, but that's kindergarten bush league men. What we're going to do is we're going to push up into the, into the doorway and try to drive your scapula into your opposite butt cheek pocket. So try to push up. And you can actually get a little stretch in the bottom. Can you feel that little stretch right down here? Yeah. And so what's happening is that she's actually getting this to glide backwards and she's stretching out all of the soft tissue and all the kind of fascia that uh, is kind of restricting that motion and that back kind of corner pocket is exactly where she would be bench pressing or pressing from and more importantly it's how she's going to just stretch out to look awesome so if you walk through a doorway instead of just obviously stretch packing or stretching out this way you can hook up and be all voodoo slam that thing up into the into the corner second piece when we see athletes whose arms come forward, Danielle, into the dreaded shoulder position of the cool bride, right, no bueno. And what it says is this bride lacks internal rotation. She's trying to hold her dress up, doesn't know how, so she ends up like this. And ironically, gentlemen, those of you who's in the, in the GAN and in Iraq who are holding the weapons all day long, that's the same thing as bridal shoulder when your shoulder comes forward to hold your weapon as your own patrol. So when you're like, oh, I'm so manly, and you're popping the shoulder, that's no good either, all right? So here's what you can do to work on this. Hand on the hip, and we're going to work on some internal rotation, put the shoulder back, swing the arm over, and then internally rotate your arm. This can be done in a chair or standing, and you're going to catch some ugly internal rotation. What's not okay is to cheat into bridal posture or, uh, you know, uh, elite special forces gun posture, but you want to put your hand on your shoulder, boom, swing over, and try to... Put that shoulder back as you internally rotate, okay? So those are the two pieces. We're going to go two minutes each side, each piece. It's a total of eight minutes. Last thing, how to survive a wedding. Where's, our, uh, where's the box? Did we go? Yeah, oh, there it is. So uh, if you have to stand for a good portion of time, like imagine you're a groom. You're stuck up. Come on, broom. Oh, no. You're stuck up on the... Uh, on the, uh, come on up, you're stuck on the altar, you've been standing there forever and ever, because, uh, you know, Danielle's been there for a long time. But if you're standing in the crowd and you have to stand for a long time, one of the things that happens is that you're naturally going to drop into extension. That's when your back aches, and you're going to see people do all kinds of weird stuff trying to get out of extension. 
anytime you can figure out a way to put a foot up on a little box, so just like that, if you have to stand for a long period of time, put your foot up. It puts you into a little bit of flexion automatically and protects your back and you'll be able to stand all day long. By the way, this is the Captain Morgan pose for a reason because you can actually drink all day long like this and all bars have a little thing there. But if you can ever figure out a little lip, just put your foot up on and stand. If you have to stand all day long on patrol or guard duty, and you'll see people do crazy things. Even just breaking this position and getting yourself into a little bit of flexion will allow you to survive even the most droll wedding of Leaf <laughs> and Dee. Happy Bridal MLOD, you guys. Love you guys so much, Thanks, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.